This is a fishing ski boat. It has room for eight people. The boat is 19 feet, 5 inches in length, and has a 91 inch beam. It has an easy load bunk trailer. It's got chrome rims and a spare tire. The grease fittings on the axles, they grease the bearings from the inside out. The trailer also has a swing away tongue and the boat has been garage kept since it was new. The motor is a Mercruiser high output 4.3 liter V6. It's got multi-port fuel injection and 220 horsepower. It also comes with a stainless prop. The boat comes with a bow cover and a full cockpit cover. It also has a complete bimini top uh, to keep you out of the sun on those hot summer days. If you're out there on those days where the weather's a little inclement, um, it comes with a full enclosure uh, with both front curtains, side curtains, and full rear curtains. Let's start out by talking about the pleasure side of this boat. If you're out on the water with friends and family, uh, the front of the boat comes with three really nice uh, cushions that snap into place. Underneath those cushions are two storage compartments. Every storage compartment on this boat is insulated, so not only can it be used as dry storage, but it can also be used as a cooler. The boat comes with two bucket seats that swivel and slide, so you can put them in any position. It also has a cushion bench seat in the back and a padded sun deck um, so somebody can lay out in the sun. In the rear of the boat, it has a large swim platform, has a fold-down ladder to get in and out of the water easily, and it also has another storage compartment that could be used as a small cooler or storage. Okay, let's talk about the fishing side of this boat. Once you remove those cushions, this turns into a serious fishing boat. Um, in the rear of the boat, it's got a pedestal seat in the front of the boat. It also has a uh, pedestal seat, and they're both removable. Behind the passenger seat, there is a rod holder that will hold four rods. Also, a rod holder that mounts into the back deck or front deck holds eight rods. Uh, you can lift them right out with one hand and, and store them. You can mount three triple rod holders right into the sun deck very quickly. There's also two more rod mounts along the sides of the boat. Um, in the cockpit. There's several different configurations you can use. You can also take that center rod holder, mount it up in the back on the pole holder, and again, be very flexible in how many rods and the configuration of how you, how you put them out. Mounted to the front of the boat is a Makota Power Drive V2 trolling motor with iPilot. The iPilot has a built-in GPS system and uses a wireless remote. This gives you precision boat control at all times. The record a track feature, that records the path your boat is taking. So if you're working a drop-off or a weed line and you're catching fish and you want to fish that spot again, all you have to do is hit the playback button and that boat will follow that precise path uh, that you just ran the first time. Spot lock is a great feature. If you got a spot that you want to sit at, you just one push of a button, that thing automatically compensates, will speed up, slow down, turn left, turn right, to compensate for any wind or waves. It'll hold you right on that spot. I like it if I'm fishing for perch, I can get right over that school of perch, and that'll hold my boat right on top of them. Cruise control is a feature I use all the time. I use it a controlled power drift. Say, for example, I want to present that bait at 0.7 miles per hour. You just set that remote on cruise control and, again, automatically compensates for wind, current, waves, anything. It'll always keep you at that 0.7 miles per hour all by itself. Co-pilot and advanced autopilot is where this GPS technology really comes into play. Say I want to work a drop-off. You just point that trolling motor in that one direction, hit that button, and again, regardless of wave, current, wind, anything, 
that boat will follow that path, automatically compensate for any of those factors, and keep you right on those fish. Let's talk about the live wells. In the left corner, there's a 14-gallon aerated live well. It's great for holding your bait fish. In the center of the boat is a large 43-inch aerated live well. It draws fresh lake water in. It will also circulate water while aerating with the boat out of the water. And there's also an aeration timer um, so you can control when it injects uh, air into the system. This boat is equipped with a Lowrance HDS-8 high definition down scan, GPS, structure scan with side imaging. This unit takes all the guesswork out of what's actually down there compared to a standard unit. I'll show you a few examples. Here's a screenshot that shows my boat running up the center of the river channel if you look at the bottom left hand photo and you can see I'm running right along that channel ledge right there. If you look just above it, you see the ledge on the side scan image where it shows it's really dark there. That shows the steep bank of the river edge. If you look at the bottom right screen, that shows bass holding um, right underneath the boat. This is the regular sonar like you'd have on any, any fish finder. Um, however, if you look at the top right, that's the high definition down scan. You see all the little black dots. That's verifying those are actually bass holding right underneath the boat, straight down. Okay, if we look back up at the upper left hand screen, this is the side imaging uh, photo. The zero is dead center of the boat. You can see all the black dots. Those fish are holding right on that ledge. Uh, probably about 35 feet to the right, 35 feet to the left, which is straight down from the boat. You also see a few dots probably in the 50 foot range, maybe even out to 60 to the left side of the boat. But if you look to the right side of the boat, up over on top of that ledge, you don't see any fish. So all these fish are holding right on that ledge. Here's another example of how the high definition down scan really shows you what's there. If you look in the bottom right hand corner, you see I'm running a deep river channel right there. If you look at the image above that in the top right, it looks like a bunch of fish stacked up from the bottom up to about 35 feet. However, if you look at the left screen, that's the high definition down scan. It clearly shows there's a tree down there about 35 feet tall right off the bottom. So that is not a stack of fish, that's actually a tree. In addition to that, if you look really close, you do see a fish holding three quarters of the way up in that tree. Big fish right up in the branches right there, it's pretty obvious. And then also a little bit to the left, you see a nice big school of bait fish, which is very clear. This is a screenshot of the side imaging only. You can see I'm in about 16 feet of water. Zero is dead center of the boat. And then you can see all the structure on the bottom, uh, about 100 feet out to the right side of the boat, and 100 feet out to the left side of the boat. In this screenshot here, the bottom right, you can see I've been making passes back and forth on the top of this river ledge here, uh, catching stripers. Uh, the little photo above that, you can see the fish, the stripers uh, hanging there. You can see the large arches. But over in the left hand side, it's very clear with that high definition down scan, you can see two separate sets of stripers. Uh, there's two separate um, pods of bait fish there, and there's actually a catfish right on the bottom holding tight to the bottom. In the bottom left hand corner, you can see I'm right on the flat, right at the base of this drop off. Uh, if you look at the screenshot to the right of that, you can see the regular sonar. It shows a whole bunch of fish arches. Those are perch, uh, very active perch. I was catching them just as quick as I could reel them in. The screenshot just above that in the upper right hand side, it shows those active perch um, all over the place. And then on the side scan, you can see if you look at the dead zero, you see all the dots. Um, on both sides of that zero. 
all those perch are right underneath the boat. Thank you. 